some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Willow Springs, Missouri, with the uh, frauditor known as Lucky Laptop News, as he goes to file a complaint on an officer who he claims is retaliating against him. But of course, there is much, much more to the story than he is leading on. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Lucky Laptop News. I'm here at Willow Springs PD, putting a complaint about what happened Saturday with an officer using the threat of color of law to run me off a public easement. Yeah, it might help that uh, we go back in time to see what exactly happened with this situation because, uh, dude, you were not uh, in the right in this situation. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Flashback. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Lucky Laptop News and the douchebag wants to say f to me. Sir, I answered your question very politely. I let you know that we're all press. And you want to have an attitude, sir? You're going to be on Lucky Laptop News now. Oh my god, who the hell? Cash. Oh yeah, is that supposed to uh, uh, elicit an emotional response uh, that he's going to be on some low-level YouTube channel? Uh, yeah, uh, come on now, dude. Uh, think rashly uh, that uh, about this. Uh, yeah, you're not exactly hot stuff. In fact, you're the bottom of the barrel uh, frauditor at this point uh, in your YouTube career. Uh, equivalent to uh, maggots on a turd. Oh, did I say maggots? I didn't mean to elevate you that high. I meant to say maggot crap on a turd. Y'all see this car around town? Don't go near it. He's an asshole. Bye. Go f yourself. Go f yourself. What, m What'd you say, sir? You're the one who wants to have a problem with me. I was being very nice to you and you want to tell me to f because I didn't answer your question the way you wanted, sir? You know, dude, uh, it might help if you actually antagonize somebody who uh, will get angry because this guy right here doesn't seem to be taking the bait with you. Because if you had found somebody that was a bit more aggressive than you, uh, then uh, that would probably make you look like the good guy, but in this particular scenario, this guy doesn't appear to want anything to do with you, which leads me to wonder, uh, who was the one that actually started this confrontation? And my guess would be you, because you're the one always out looking for uh, people to antagonize, and it looks like you found one that really didn't want to take the bait. It's our first amendment right. I gave you an answer and you didn't like it. And you want to tell me to F off? You want to tell me to F off because I gave you an answer and you didn't like it. So am I off the property or what? Yeah, he's over there videoing my car and me calling me You're So what? It's a car show. It's a car show. You're the one that told me to F off because I didn't answer your question the way you wanted to, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm James, by the way. You're not going to shake my hand, so you're going to be rude too? Okay, everybody, you see this business? Don't even go here. Don't walk behind me. I'm leaving. This is free. Go. Don't walk behind me. Go. Get out. I'm leaving if you don't walk behind me. Okay, I'll stand right here. Go. Don't follow me and quit walking behind Go. me. All I was doing was recording somebody. Okay. I answered a hey. question. He didn't like it. He wants hey. to tell me to F off. Then get rid of him. Calm down. And you just need to go, okay? I'm leaving. Hey. Okay. It's all right, man. Just go. No, you know what? That guy shouldn't have been rude to me off the bat. Hey. 
have a and then I tried to shake that guy's hand. He wants to be rude. Do you have a vehicle here? No, I don't. Okay. I'm yeah. leaving. So would you just get what, quit getting up on me, please? We're happy, we're happy you guys are making me feel uncomfortable. You guys are making me feel unsafe. Hey. I am feeling unsafe for my safety right now. Brother. I'm feeling unsafe for my safety right now. Uh, do you want the feelings police, dude? Is that what you want? Well, uh, we'll give you that here in a moment. So he ends up walking off the property, and uh, when the police show up, he expects them to pretty much enforce his feelings. But it doesn't exactly work out in the way he expects. So let's skip to that part, shall we? Many, many minutes later. Not on their property. I'm on public easement. James. Name and badge number and don't dox me. Don't dox you? Yeah, don't say my name. You don't even need to know my name. I'm not breaking yeah, the law. James Fish. Yeah, again, you're know. doxing me. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm, name and badge number now. I'm Officer Turnbull, 406, Will Springs. Okay. Turnbull? Yeah. Okay. Your mom wouldn't be Sarah, would it? No. Okay. No, no relation. So, but, uh, so what's going on? Well, the guy in the Mustang didn't like, or not Mustang, but the red convertible over there didn't like the fact that I answered the question. Yeah. Uh, it's our freedom of press. And he got rude with me. Yeah. Said, I asked him what he said. We had our words. He wants to go up there and have me kicked off the property, so I'm going to protest. Do not shop at this business. And yes, I'm yelling a little, but if you want to get me for a violation of a peace disturbance, then everyone is driving up their car needs to have it, and their radio needs to have it. Okay. Well, I was just going to ask you if you could. Oh, please. great. It's... Okay, no, it's not the one I thought it was. What's up, man? Name and badge number, please. Weaver 224. Name and badge number. Stolba 202. You're a detective? No, I'm a store resource officer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not breaking the law, everybody. Well, so y'all are dismissed. Well, this, is, this is a private property, okay? I'm on public easement, sir. Yeah, well, you're still here. I'm on public easement. That means I'm not on their property, sir. Do you know what public well, easement well, means? You can't be parking on the side of the road, okay? I can't park on the side of the road? Then you need to get everybody that parks on the side of the road. Oh, yeah, nobody else. Oh, you're trying to push them away like that? Uh, well, let me tell you something, uh, boy. Uh, the only people besides you that are parked on the side of the road at this current moment, at this current location, are the police officers, and they're here because of you. And before you say anything about, uh, about it, about the law or anything like that, you might want to go research the law, because according to Missouri law, uh... Yeah, you're not supposed to be parking on the side of the road like this, you moron. And guess what? This law has been in effect since the 1960s in the state of Missouri. So, yeah, dude, there's no excuse for you, the one who claims to know the law, to not have known about this particular law. I mean, pathetic. Uh, everybody parks on the side of the road, sir. It's what you normally do. Where, where is somebody else parked on the side of the road? Here? Not here, no. Nobody. But people park on the side of the road, sir. They do it all the time. Hey, they I'm do it on the highway. Hey. Where, where is the sign? Hey. What's the law? Hey, just what's calm. the ordinance? Just calm down. What's the law? Penal code. I'm not going to just sit here and listen. Then what's the penal know. code? Because as far as I know, I'm not breaking the law. Okay, well, I can gladly go write you a citation. Or like go ahead, write me a citation. We'll fight in court. Is that what you really want to do? Yeah, that's fine. We'll fight in I, court. I get paid for it, so we're That's fine. No you get paid by your tax dollars, don't yeah. you? Okay, but you want me to move? I'll right, move. But right now you're harassing them. Okay. No, I'm not harassing them. I'm standing on yes, a private. I'm standing yes, on public are. property. Yes, you are. Her, no, yes, harassment you are. is not. Her, that is not yes, harassment. I am protesting. Okay. Oh come on now, dude. Uh, we all know who you are. We all know that you're a fraudster. We all know that uh, people like you tend to harass. Uh, people like uh, that on that property over there. We know what you were doing. It's just that you think you're above the law like any other frauditor. But no, you're not exactly above the law. You're just another another incompetent moron who uh, can't even be bothered to read the actual laws. But at any rate, uh, he goes to the local police department to complain that very night, and it doesn't really go anywhere, which leads us to back to the uh, present where he is uh, about to file an official complaint. So let's see where that takes him, shall we? End of flashback. Hello, can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I want to make a complaint on Officer Turnbull. 
and this is why he's called Lucky Laptop News, and why he's such a bottom of the barrel frauditor who uh, doesn't seem to understand that. Uh, well, there are technologies out there that uh, are a bit more compact, a bit easier to handle out in the field. Uh, that most of the other frauditors are very much aware of and utilize to the best of their abilities. It's called a cell phone. You see, the cell phone is designed to be a bit more convenient, lighter weight, which basically means you can utilize it to uh to a more advantageous situation where you're not having to lug around a rather bulky laptop in the field and uh well make yourself look like a complete and total moron for even wielding one out in public like that. Not that there's anything wrong with having a laptop, it's just that its intended purpose is not that of a camera, but more of a data collection device for jobs and everything like that if you actually want to use it out in the field. I mean, the camera is great, but uh, not the best when it comes to uh, using it for frauding, especially when you have more convenient options out there, and especially since there are devices that are quite capable of uh, being uh, mounted to the cell phone where you don't have to uh, be so awkward with the cell phone either. Okay. Oh. Yeah, he committed a felony, by the way. You know that? I'm sorry? Your officer committed a felony. Oh, it was the officer that committed the felonies. Uh, dude, uh... Why are you trying to jack up your misdemeanor crimes into a potential felony for the officer when the officer didn't do jack squat? Uh, clearly, you were the one that were was the uh, antagonist in the pre in the uh, aforementioned situation. You just don't want to man up and admit it because you you don't want to take the responsibility for your actions. No. That would make too much damn sense. Running me off of public access uh, under threat of arrest, that's a felony. That's a civil rights violation. All right, I got the complaint form, everybody. Going to go fill it out now. Give me a second, babe. I'm trying to show the complaint form. All right, sorry guys, the wind is making it hard. Anyway, I'm gonna go and pause it. I'm gonna fill this out and turn it back in. Whoa, 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 hold on. I'm going to pause it right here. Uh, you see, earlier on, he was accusing the officer of doxing him. Uh, but what he's about to do right here, he's about to show his own information on uh, this video. So I'm not going to be accused of doxing him for reposting this. So, yeah, uh, I'm just going to add a still image of his stupid little face in here until uh, he gets out of his car. Because, well, if you're dumb enough to dox yourself on your video, well, you deserve what you get. Complaint filled out and then turn it in right now. I'm probably gonna walk to City Hall. Let me try to talk to the mayor about this. Uh, I'm pretty upset. Yep. Do I have to wait to talk to an officer? Is there a way to speak with an officer? 
Yeah, because honestly, I would. Um, your officer's got enough to sue the city right now. I would like an apology. If he comes in right now and tells me sorry, I'm not going to go talk to lawyers. If he talks to me, that's cool. Okay, that's not going to happen. Okay. He's in the hospital with open heart surgery. What's this? That's his citation that he filled out for you. Oh, I got a ticket? Yeah. Okay. You do realize this is going to be considered retaliation? No, he wrote it before I ever talked to you. Yeah, so. well, he kicked me off public access. You are the chief, I take it? I am. Okay. You do realize he's got enough for a lawsuit, right? For what? For kicking me off public access off of color law. Okay. Um, that's a You're felony. To do that's that a felony, like sir. You're welcome to oh my goodness, dude, you have no idea what you're talking about now, do you? Color of law, civil rights, do you even know what civil rights are? Were you denied a job based on your uh, religion, gender, race, uh, creed, whatever? No? Then, uh, well, were you denied access to any place because of any of that? No? Then it wasn't freaking civil rights! This is a, uh, Traffic law, you piece of crap, because that statute I showed earlier is all about traffic laws. So, dude, you really need to uh, just, well, get yourself a little bit more educated because you're making yourself look like a uh, complete uh, and total lack brain moron. To do that, that's okay. not what the citation's for. It don't matter, sir. He still did it. It don't matter if that's a citation or not. And I just got a ticket. Do what? Do what? Lot. Disorderly conduct. Get a hold of my lawyer. We're gonna fight it, okay? And but I got a ticket for disorderly conduct because I flipped him off. That's gonna be a lawsuit. I'm going to City Hall. Let me have that too. I love you, baby. Everybody, I'm here at the city hall. I'm not gonna pan the camera around right now, everybody. There's kids in here. Well, that's at least decent of you. Most frauditors wouldn't give a damn if their children are there or not. I mean, it kind of makes you wonder about the, a lot of these frauditors. Huh, they don't want to uh, edit, edit children out of their videos. Oh uh, yeah, it does make you wonder now, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, I'd like to talk to your mayor. I got a ticket the other day, it was, or today actually, that's unconstitutional. I flipped a cop off. I flipped the cop off and I got a ticket for disorderly conduct. The Supreme Court has already ruled that that's freedom of speech. 
Oh, so you think it was the uh, cop that issued you the uh, disorderly conduct charge because you flipped him off. I guess it didn't have anything to do with that uh, whole scene you caused before the cops showed up. Now, did it? Oh, boy, you frauditors do tend to lie quite a bit. I mean, yeah. Are there any honest frauditors out there? Well, uh, what am I saying? Of course there are not any honest frauditors out there. So I have enough also to sue the city because your cop ran me off of public access under threat of arrest, which is a felony. I have enough to sue the town. Sorry, dude, but you don't have jack squat to sue the town with, uh, you violated a state statute by parking on the side of the road like you did. And then, uh, not to mention that you were acting disorderly at that car show just to cause a stir. So, yeah, dude, uh, you don't have jack shit to, uh, be able to sue with. You don't have any legal standing. You weren't violated anyway. You were the one doing the violating. The mayor is housed out of this building, sir. It's a city hall, right? It is. Then where's the mayor at? Well, it's the only... She, she actually has a full-time job, so yeah. she's, she's not here. Yeah, it's not a full-time How's it a good time to get a hold of the mayor? Because I am not happy with the town of Willow Springs right now. I don't want to sue the city because you guys are a small town. But maybe that's what you guys need is to take one in a pocketbook and before you guys learn our constitutional rights. So in order to, sorry, I just kind of overheard some of the conversation. If you want to reach out to the mayor, we do have an email where you could email her. And I want a phone number, please. Does well, she the only phone number I've got for her is her personal cell phone, and I can't give that out. Does she do anything business-wise on her personal cell phone? Does she call any like body as far as being a mayor? Because if she does, that means that she actually just made that a private, or not private, but a public phone. Sir, can I help you on the city administrator? Yes. Um, I flipped up my call, which is freedom of, spe freedom of speech, disorderly conduct. Okay. For one, your officer ran me off of public access okay. under threat of arrest, which is enough for a lawsuit. That's a felony. So you, you got a citation? No, I, th this, is, this is what I got today when I went in to put a complaint on him. Mm -hmm. What he did the other day, that's enough for a lawsuit. Now, the, this is for flipping him off, which this worldly conduct is not me flipping him off. Me flipping him off, Supreme Court. You know, good people, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, Missouri uh, disorderly conduct statute, which, uh, which is unreasonably and knowingly disturbs or alarms another person by loud noises. Oh, here's where it really gets interesting. Offensive language addressed in a face-to-face -face manner to a specific individual and uttered under circumstances which are likely to produce an immediate violent response from a reasonable recipient. Your video shows that, uh, well, you were the one uh, cussing out the uh, individual at that car show. It was never shown in your video, that one particular video anyway, of him saying a word to you at all. No, 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 no. So you might have just screwed yourself over on that, my friend. Oh, boy, you should have kept that camera rolling. Because if that uh dude did say something to you, then you could use that as evidence against him. But no, because you were stupid enough to turn off your camera and turn it right back on at that critical moment that could have helped your situation out right here oh boy you're not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer are you buddy it's done said that is freedom of speech okay so here's here is there's a city ordinance yes i understand that yes but no, congress I'm not, I'm not cannot about, hold on give me congress cannot make any law restricting that kind of stuff <clears throat> supreme court has already ruled stuff okay. like this you need to stop for just a moment and let okay. me just say this okay you have your day in court, so you'll get to come with this. And, and right now, I am addressing my government. I am. I am. I am addressing court. my grievances with the government right now. You are the government. You work for me, ma'am. You work for me. Listen, you work for the people. How's that? You work for I the do, people. I, do work I for am the, the public, ma'am. Okay, so you work for me. Okay, hold on. Just stop for just a moment. When a person gets see a everybody, this is how this town rolls. No, it's not just this town, dude. It's how the government works. It's how things work. If you get a citation, 
You don't take it to City Hall and complain. You take it to court. You take it there and fight it there. This is not how you fight a ticket. You'll never go anywhere in this way, especially, well, even somebody in your position anyway. Somebody who doesn't know the law. When, when you get a citation from one of the officers, then you are appointed a day that you can come. And, and you, I still and would like get, to talk to the mayor. But you're interrupting me every time okay, I'm Okay, you work for me. To. I don't work for you. You know what? Well, well, that's I not, can talk to the mayor if I want to to address you can. this. You can. I would like to get a hold of the mayor. The that's mayor what does I would not like. have an office here. I understand that. Then and can you so give her some information? I I'd like to get a hold can. of her. If you're not going to help me, you can give me your information and okay. I will have her contact I'm working you. laptop news. There's my information. Well, that's not good enough. She's probably going to need probably a cell phone no, number. No, she don't need my cell phone number, nothing like that. Okay, well then. When's a good time I that I can reach her in an office in this she's building? She's not in this in office. At all. She doesn't come not in this building at all. She does come here. Okay, but when's only when she makes an appointment with us. Okay, then how about, you, how about we make an she appointment actually right has now? Another how job. about we make an appointment right now? Well, I don't know what her schedule is. So you'll you'll have to give me your information. See, so guys, this town don't want to help. They they know they did wrong. They know their officers screwed up big time. They know they got a lawsuit coming, and they don't want to help. And I didn't realize that the chief of police is here. Hi, Mr. Chief of Police. What do you think about well, your officer committing I would a felony? Also say to, to the to the people that are actually listening to this right now, that I would say that I can almost tell you that you can see that he's not being reasonable enough for even. So you think it's funny that a cop so. violated my rights, ma'am? I see you laughing in there. I don't think it's funny when your rights are violated. Okay, here's the deal. Your citation wasn't for being on an easement. No, I it understand was for that, disorderly but hands, hands If you still? shut up and listen no, to me. No, I don't have to shut up. Okay, then I'm your officer you. still ran me off I'm of public easement under a color of arrest. If you don't want to listen to me. I'm not breaking a law, am I? You need to go yes, you are. You're being disorderly. disorderly. Okay, they're going to have something being disorderly because I am trying to talk to them. And you know what? You guys can just go screw yourselves, too. So this is how this town's going to be, everybody. That's the city hall. Well, uh, dude, I would imagine that uh, officer was trying to tell you that uh, the reason for the disorderly conduct charge was probably because, because, well, you were being disorderly at that car show. You were the one that started everything. You just don't want to pay attention because... You think you know everything. Uh, yeah, you don't know Jack Squat. So let's enjoy this walk of shame that he's taking right here. Well, my friends, stupid is as stupid does. And if you want to go around life acting like a complete moron, that's your prerogative. But uh, just know this. Just because you have a supreme lack of intelligence doesn't mean others do. There are people that are much smarter than you, dude. And they hold higher positions because of that intelligence. You, on the other hand, you couldn't hold a job to save your life. And it might be because, well, of your attitude. It might be because of your intelligence. It might be a combination of everything that you are. But rest assured, yeah, you are a total loser in life. And you posting this video just goes to show that you are a total loser. Yeah, so you might as well go ahead and live with it. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?